Thank you, Two Feet. Thank you all for coming, and I want to thank my good friend Anna Eshoo for her uh, profound remarks. She's exactly right. It is sometimes, sometimes surprising to us in Congress as to the moral authority that we do have when we simply utter what is true. And in this case, Anna and I, along with many others, have introduced a resolution calling what has happened to the Christians, Yazidis, and other religious minorities in the Middle East a genocide. When you are simply, when you are being persecuted simply because of what you believe, when you are systematically targeted for execution, there's no reason to continue to discuss this ad infinitum. That is genocide. That is an assault on the dignity of persons. It's an assault on the dignity of the collective morality of humanity. It is an assault on civilization itself. The other night I was reading an article, and I can't even, I don't recall where I saw this photo, but I wanted to show it to you all again. These were the Coptic Christians from Egypt who were martyred in Libya at the hands of ISIL. Again, those of us who have invested in this issue, those of us who have tried to raise international consciousness on this issue, even us, we can get lulled into complacency. We have been talking about this for months and months, and now we understand the State Department might be on the verge of issuing a genocide resolution that does not include Christians. And the administration initially did not call what happened to these men, martyrdom because of their Christianity. They were supposedly killed because they were Egyptians. However, the administration did correct itself to their credit. Put yourself in these men's position. If you were uh, being persecuted for your faith, even to the point of death, what would be going through your mind? The terror or the reconciliation or both with God at this final moment. This is what's happening day in and day out. This is why we cannot let ourselves become embroiled in unnecessary academic talk. We have to act. And the idea that Anna and I and many others conceived of is simply calling this what it is, a genocide, with the first priority of raising international consciousness so that then a gateway would take place for further action, which is complicated, I get that. Security action, political settlements, migration, and all of the other attending problems. But the first priority is to call it what it is. We put ourselves in the shoes of people who are being horrifically persecuted and embrace their pain to stand with them. That's the definition of compassion. When, as Anna so well put it, when the United States leads, when it says the words, it means things. So thank you all for your deep interest, particularly the panel who has showed extreme uh, courage and, and diligence and leadership on this question, because this is more than the horror of religious persecution of one group. It is about civilization itself. Thanks. So